Hey everybody, it's Chris Davies here, www.chrisdaviesstrength.com. Um, just my follow-up video to some of my quad stuff. Um, I said I promised you guys this a couple days ago, and uh, well, I forgot to get around to it. So I'm here to show you today. Um, so I'm just going to go over a few things of what I did um, to get my quad back to where it should be somewhat, it's somewhat stable now. I did a squat uh, Monday for uh, 365 for a single, felt really good. I'm just going to slowly work up and just slowly go before, don't want to tear anymore, or tear anything around the scar tissue. There's not the scar tissue that's going to tear, it's the uh, muscle fibers around it. And that's what I've been told by my physio. So, getting some work done this Friday, going to get it massaged. Um, what I basically did when I got home after I tore it is I took about 1,600 mil, uh, mils of uh, ibuprofen just to get down all the uh, all the swelling so the pressure wouldn't build up. It was sore as hell. Had a lot of blood pooling around the knee. Didn't really pool up towards the skin. Um, I kept it mobile. I didn't restrict it too much. Um, I used a big ice pack. I'll show you. So I used a large ice pack like this and covered my leg with it and uh, I just keep icing it until I got it down and lots of ibuprofen and my wife just kept feeding me tons of food, lots of, lots of protein rich food, salads, anything just to keep the nutrients going just to repair that muscle tissue as quick as possible. Uh, I find that really helped. Um, I was also drinking like three whey protein shakes a day with glutamine, uh, creatine, it's just stuff to keep the um, creatine there to keep the water in the muscle. It helps it repair quicker, uh, glutamine for the repair, and lots of protein for the repair. So the, the first four days were super critical, so we just kept doing that and uh, pushing ahead, and it turned out really well. Like I said, I can put a lot of pressure on it now, it's looking good. Um, I just got a little bit of, um, bit of tightness just above the kneecap, and just on the top of the quad, as you can see here. So it's right here, and then going up to here. Nothing in between, but it's all up top here where the pressure builds up. And uh, so that's just everything freaking out from the from the tear. So the tear is fixed now, but uh, a few things I do go over. Um, what I started with was because I couldn't roll it out, uh, just because it was too painful. So I, what I did is I just got a dowel, like one of those dowels you get from uh, like inside your closet, and cut it down, and then we just grind it. So it's just normal grinding down like it would be with um, with a foam roller, except you control the pressure. So just grind it down, bottom the kneecap, keep my legs straight of course. And then also up here, and then just do it as much as you can. Just to get as much of the, uh, break down the scar tissue as well, right, in the early stages. Um, from that, I moved to the regular foam roller, where I can now do what I use now. So I've been doing this about twice a day, um, just breaking down the scar tissue. And then uh, going over to the rumble roller. Hopefully within the next day or two. It's just the rumble roller just kills it with a thing. But I mean, can't be a big wussy all the time. So I'm just going to have to bear with it and do it. Um, but yeah, just I yeah, just kept eating and keeping it really and elevated too. So what I did is my wife put me in the couch and elevated my leg up above my heart. And basically... We just kept it elevated, trying to drain the fluid, and then I would just, every once in a while, I'd do little uh, ankle twirls and just get the lymph nodes pumping and try to get that fluid out of the knee. That was key uh, to just getting to repair, because there's no need for all the swelling if you're bought here. Like, you just need to get the blood flow going again. Anyway, that's about it for my quad today. Um, anyways, I should have a squat video, and uh, so I did my deadlift finally. After five weeks, I was able to deadlift conventionally. Um, I was doing sumo before, and I felt it really good because I've been doing a lot of hip work and a lot of work around the, around the quad, as well as some quad exercises, so I started incorporating more quad stuff, focused body squats, and uh, so yeah, I'm really happy. I got up to a 585 for a single, did that twice, and then started repping out at um, about 495 for reps, and I got a video coming, I'll put that at the end of this video. And uh, it got a little tight, so I had to switch over to sumo for the last two sets of my speeds. But uh, it feels good. Um, deadlifts are today, again. So the video I'm showing is from a week ago. Uh, I'm going to try for around 600, 610 for conventional, see how that feels. And uh, keep going from there. I want to get back. 
by the end of the month, I want to be doing at least 700 for two again. So it's coming along really well. Like I said, I got some uh, phys physio every two weeks. Uh, go there and they give me a good routine. So I got about probably eight or nine exercises I'm doing for that. And uh, that's about it. I'll see you later. I'm going to uh, rock my Hello Kitty and eat my matchable fruit.